hello guys just wanted to do a quick video to let you know what project i'm currently working on so i'm currently working on working with uh, cypher so I, I got really recently i've been playing with this let me just show what i've been playing with thing is uh, right here so yeah uh not this one right this one right here so it's a uh, llm graph builder for neo4j from neo4j so uh, i basically use this to build you can basically upload a file upload a website and then you can basically generate uh, a graph database basing on the content that is inside of that uh, that document or what that web page or whatever our AWS S3 bucket or anything like that. You can just upload it in right here, pass in your open API keys, click on generate graph, you pass in your different keys. And then from there, you're going to go, it's going to go ahead and generate for you a schema. And the schema is going to be used to generate a database and then stored inside of your Neo4j database, right? So this is all done by AI. You can see using open, uh, open, open AI GPT 3.5 turbo so this is all awesome i've been playing around with this and i was like nah i really wish I, I i build this myself right sometimes you just have to get in there i was working on this project and i had to get in there and build things myself so i i decided to go back to and then the basics right so i've been doing cypher for a while but i i have kind of like not stayed i haven't we've been using cypher in the recent days so i went back uh did a quick brush on my cypher my cypher skills and then from there i began to build it so i basically use pandas to load in the data frame and i got the data from github from this uh github link right here from this run right here so i basically got the data from uh, this repository online and i'm gonna link this repository if you guys want to get access to it so once i got that the csv files i downloaded all the csv files and i had them stored inside of my local computer so i have different uh, information just the category the customers data sets the employees the orders the order details the product the shippers and all that right so i went ahead used pandas reading this data did some data pre-processing dropped the columns that i didn't need and uh, combined the, the, the different tables i needed to create a, a bigger data set a bigger data frame and then from that data frame i was i was able to connect to my neo4j uh, instance the free instance i'm using and then from there i, I uh this means that the connection was up and then i wrote some cypher code uh basically write some cypher code, cypher code that's gonna insert a different uh product so in this case this one inserts the product uh the the categories of the product the supplies and then finally create the relation between this uh this entity so basically all these nodes you can think of it so i have all that done and i have it the, all the information right here. so if i scroll all to the bottom so you can see i have information about my different products so i have 77 products and that's the amount of products uh instead of that cd files you download from github so if i open up on this and the data data sets about the not win products so i don't know what data set is that today is my first time coming across it but it's something a bit interesting so i decided to work with it and this is what i've been able to build so you can see the different products this is a product right here the product information this product has been ordered or basically these are orders you can see these are orders and this order included this product right so you can see that we have the categories so this product is part of this category and you also have the different suppliers which is right here so you can see the supplier and that this product was supplied by this guy right here and this is the information of the supplier and all that right so that's basically what i did and i went ahead and built the the, the, the basically the graph database are the different categories uh, if you, ex you can expand this to see the different categories the product that belong to that category and also have the different information about the supplier so if i hover on this uh, to expand this you can see this is a supplies right here how many products the supplier supplied and all that right so once i had that i've inside the products the uh, the products the suppliers and the categories i went ahead and worked with the other data set that i have so i read in the different uh orders the order details combine them the customers the suppliers employees and i combine them all into i basically merge them into one data frame and after merging them into one data frame using pandas i drop the necessary column you can see we have some NA values right here so i replace some of them with unknown like you can see right here it shows uh not so it previously it was showing here so you can see it's showing unknown right here because some of them were having any 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 end value so i drop i just replace them with unknown I uh, did some data cleaning and then from there I went ahead and uh, uh, combined all the remaining ones, change the data types and uh, then do different kind of data pre-processing stuff, just uh, typical Panda stuff. And then from there I wrote another cipher code to insert this into my uh, my graph database again. So I created employees and entity a node. It has all this, you can see this is a label right here, it has all these properties. And then I basically ran it again. So connect to my MongoDB, create a session, run that, and then uh, insert that uh, all the different stuff into my database. So that's, that's basically what I did. 
And yeah, that's the, basically, you can see I wrote all this cipher from scratch. I didn't get it from anywhere else. I wrote it from scratch. So once I insert, run that and the uh, information got inserted, this is the information right here. So if I select everything, uh, this is going to take a bit of time to load, but you can see it right here. Yeah. So if I, uh, if I undo that, you can see this, how it looks like, and then we just zoom in a bit. So it looks like this. Then you can also go ahead and view the relationships. We're going to show the relation between the different categories, uh, customers and all that. So you can see it right here. Right, so you can see the different information right here. So you can see all that has been stored inside of my graph uh, database right here. Right, so that's basically using Neo4j and Cypher. So once I had, I also have the different uh, employee details right here. If I expand this, uh, I should show. Okay, so you can see this is an uh, employee detail right here. This is uh, this employee and this amount of product that he, the orders that this employee processed and all that information. So yeah, you also have the customer details. So if I uh, expand one of his customer details, these are customer details. These are the products that he ordered and all that stuff, right? So you can see all that information right here. And all this is just plain uh, cipher code that I written. So to do all this, okay. Again, you also have a different relation be like this one right here, showing the different relation between the different uh, suppliers, the different products, the different categories of products and all that, right? You also have these this employees details. In this case, you will have five employees in our database. So we have the vice president and we have different employees who report to the vice president. And we have also employees rep reporting to other employees. This is like the sales manager, the sales representative, also the sales representative. And they are all reporting to the sales manager who, or who finally reports to the sales uh, the vice president of uh, sales, right? So that's basically how all this works and how it all comes together, right? So all this is done using uh, Neo4j and I written the code from scratch. And once I have this done, what my plan is to now is to build a rag system on top of this. You can let me know whether you want me to use either Llama index or Langchain, whatever works for you guys. I'm gonna be ahead and build a rag system basing on this, right? So this is all done from scratch, written by the cipher code, and all this is available. If you guys want me to make this public so you guys can have this on my GitHub repository, uh, you can find that. Right now, it's actually have a repo, but it's private, so I don't, I didn't uh, make it public. But if you guys want to have access to the code, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be glad to make uh, this uh, absolutely public for you guys. So that's all for this. And if you guys want me to do anything else interesting, let me know. I'll, I'll do my best to make a video on this. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching, and happy coding.